Even if no one's there, keep talking. Act like people are there. I, I know. And then people watch it over again. Hey everybody, those uh, extra sound effects brought to you by my son who does not understand what going live means, even though he's, you know, a world cast streamer on him and his own. Yeah. So, <laughs> moving along, <laughs> uh, it is Thursday, so that makes this Try Again Thursday, um, <laughs> different version of What's Up Wednesday. Oh, Mary and Donna. Oh, sorry. Just gonna. I have. I have a new camera today. I forgot to mute. So, so not only am I hearing myself on a delay, but I'm hearing myself like twice. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all too much. Okay, did I hit the record button? That is the question. Sorry, <laughs> my son totally threw me off my game. <laughs> there we go. I'm back. Alrighty. So I will go back to, I, I'd like you all to notice how mid video, I'm just going to hit this little button and pop over and say hi. <laughs> so yeah, pretty proud of myself again today because I added my iPad as my camera instead of my little overhead one that I had. So I went from an $80 document scanner to an $800 iPad. And funny enough, much better sound and picture quality. So there's math for you. Um, I do have a whole pile of, did I move them? Yep. Of goodies for today. <laughs> Plus, um, I have a plan. I always have a plan. One of my favorite, favorite quotes is uh, Winston Churchill, who said, um, planning is futile. Plans are futile, but planning is essential. So every time I make a plan, it seems to, you know, so much for that plan. But I have to plan. I have to like have an idea, and then I'm very good at winging it. So I think that's the magic combination: make a plan and then just wing it when it all goes awry. So yeah, last night's announcements restrictions changed the in-person plan. But like I said, pivot, winging it, got a new plan. So as I go through all of these goodies on my desk, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you some options, and I'm looking for some feedback. Hello, Nicole. Uh, I also just realized that despite the the sticky that's on my desk, I did not introduce myself. Hi, everyone. It's Tracy, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher and Stampin' Up demonstrator. Figure eventually I'm going to get used to saying that, and then maybe if somebody comes on and says, "Hey, who's this whack job?" they will have, you know, caught my name somewhere along the way. Okay, so the only part of my new setup is the because uh, my mount does not take an iPad. Um, it's just like sitting loosely on top of it. So the goal today is don't hit the stand and knock everything over. But I'm going to move some stuff out of the way, and I'm going to. Uh, you know, it's the DSP that's, that's screwing me up. So let me, just, uh, let me just try that again. Here we go. This is beautiful DSP. There's a reason it's on my desk to show you. Now you'll just have to wait and figure out what it is. All right. Let's see where to start. Where to start. Um, part of today's plan is to get an idea what's going to happen. And one of the reasons is I'm worried about supply issues. I'm worried for you about supply issues. Lord knows I got supplies. But see this lovely little, um, oh, you want to know the other fun thing? I'm just such a, I'm going to, I'm going to so nerd out. You have no idea. Wait till you get to the unopened kits and watch Tracy nerd out. Um, but my iPad actually has autofocus on it. So I can do this. Ooh, look at that. So this is the disco wallpaper, which is not what it is called. Uh, it is called the Be Dazzling Specialty Paper. 
And this is one of the free offerings in celebration. If you purchase $60 or more, you get a free thing. This is one of them, or at least it was because it's now sold out. And given that there's only two weeks left in celebration, I doubt there will be more. It's, it's awesome. It makes the coolest garland for trees, which when we get to that, <laughs> that class on a different day, I will show you how cool it looks on me on the whimsy tree. It's awesome. So yes, this one is gone. The, uh, now that I really get sound, it's really loud when I open the screen tape paper. Um, one of the other things that we are intending, I was intending to use for my extravaganza in November was the gingerbread and peppermint sweet, which is just so awesome. And look, there's, there's just, these things make things so easy, these little cards. There's so much fun stuff in them. And then there's actual recipe cards in here this year, which I thought for anybody who home makes stuff, to put one of these really pretty recipe cards with it. I mean, how awesome is that? But come on, here's the true selling feature of this kit. There is all these stickers that go with it and make little oven mitts and little spatulas and these. And this is why I wanted everybody to get this so we could all have multiples. These cards are double-sided. There's cookie cooling racks. <laughs> And they're just the most adorable little things I've ever seen. There's some black ones and there's some silver ones. And they come in this package and I had envisioned, that's not really a good idea, is it? I had envisioned using them um, on some of the treat packaging, but I don't want to end up in the scenario I'm in now with a garage full of uh, retired product to sell by, by ordering 10 of these if we're never gonna be able to get together to do it. Um, or if I can't figure out a way to do it online. So I'm going to uh, give you some thoughts as we go through my little show and tell tonight. And then I've already got a couple of people who have answered the email I sent out earlier, which is awesome. And kind of get an idea because yeah, once I have a better idea what's gonna happen, I am gonna secure some of this stuff right away just so, so that's not the reason the plan doesn't happen. But oh yes, these little cookie sheets, oh, so adorable. Okay, yep. Oh, you're gonna be loud because I'm just gonna throw it there. <clears throat> so one of the options we had for card banking, I've decided I'm gonna start doing coffee and cards. Yeah, because the pandemic is the perfect time to make that decision. Um, I actually decided it because now that I'm retired, I could do it during the day at the local coffee shop. And every time I decide I'm gonna to go to the local coffee shop and ask them if they're interested, um, we get restrictions. So I should have gone a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't. And now with the restrictions again, it's not gonna work. But I'm also trying to come up with an online version of it. So the idea is that these are simple starter cards that you can come in. These are actually note cards. So most of the work's done for you. And it takes less to decorate them. Like they're quicker because they're just a little bit smaller. They're still mailable. And you can come in and just quickly boom, 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 grab your coffee, pop off a few cards. You got something to go and away you go. Three cards, five or three note cards, $5 matching envelopes, which I also like to stamp on as you see. And away we go. <clears throat> and this was the ones I had for September. Uh, September to me is all about you know, being thankful because leading into Thanksgiving weekend. So I had made these cards, uh, minimal coloring, just a few little things, get a little bit of variety in there. I always try to make something masculine. So this was this, <laughs> this is my idea of masculine. Well, I guess the berries could be too. Um, and then something a little, you know, simpler, something a little fancier. But yeah, they're, they're designed to be quick. So coffee and cards. Let me know if you're interested and if you wanna figure out a way to do this online. The one thought I did have is if I pick a set that has images and text in it and sent you out a package at the beginning of the month. So, so I sent it all at once, either mailed it to you or you picked it up. And then pick a day. We can do them in the evenings or we can do them during the day or I can have two. I can have the lucky retired folks get to do it during the day and working folks get to do it at night time frames. Um, so we will sit down for an hour. So it doesn't have to be a huge involved thing. Just sit down for an hour. We'll walk through, show you some patterns. And then each week you'll just use more of the supplies in your kit. Uh, most of the Stampin' Up uh, stamp sets, uh, you, you can get a lot of cards out of. <laughs> Ideas are flowing. Um, and if you get enough, just like extra stuff in the kit, I'll throw in a little, few little things and um, 
and you could just make up your own. They don't even have to be the ones I'm making because um, you never know where a kit will take you. Here, I'm gonna take that other because that has nothing to do with this particular card. Um, <laughs> here's here's an example. So I'll show you some cards. Um, and, and the reason I'm gonna show you these cards is one, because I was having so much fun with them the other day, but also because this is one of the ideas for a different option for stamping, which is, or card making, which is no stamping involved. So I could come up with some card kits that I just die cut a bunch of pieces, give you a bunch of stuff. You have some minimal supplies at home and you can put them together. Um, some of these cards would work, some wouldn't, but um, I also thought it would be funny to show you how my brain works. Funny, scary, I'm not sure. So this was the first card that I made the other day. Uh, for those of you who saw the post on Instagram, um, this is the card that started that. So also, you'll see when we get to it that that doesn't make any sense. So this card I started with like the little, the brushing in the background, which <clears throat> these new brushes are just awesome for doing this. So I was doing that and I wanted to have my, you know, fun hippie flower card is what I was looking for. And so I started with this one and look, ooh, I can make it zoom in. Okay, I'll get over it eventually. <laughs> Not tonight, but I will eventually get over the fact that all this technology works. So this was the first card I had made. And when I first made it, I'm like, I like it, but is that the color combination I wanted? And and, I, and actually when I made it the first time, I did not have this strip of, of the disco ball paper, funny enough, or these little bling on it. I, it was fairly simple and it wasn't really working for me. So I'm like, no, I'll try something else. So I tried this background snap um, a couple different ways and that wasn't working for me. So then I thought it's the color, I need to change the color. So I changed the color to the ever popular, always on my desk, Blackberry Bliss. And next thing you know, this is the card I made based on this. <laughs> so again, you know, lots of versatility. And yes, these are all still on my desk. I hadn't put anything away. And so when I did this, cause I was originally gonna have this purple color with the pink behind it, but no, I ended up doing this and then I pulled these other ones back in and then I quite like this, but I thought, no, no, I, I, I want more. I have like all these ideas in my head for these little squares. So back to the drawing board. And oh, just a minute, I have some I have some cards. I have to I have to be careful about that because some of them the birthday recipient has not got the card yet because I just made them yesterday. So then this was my next card, which do love, and the point of today's or this particular demo. So this was the next card I made, and now well, it's just a matter of me figured out. Ooh, look, I'm so excited that you guys can see that this is embossed with wood grain. So this is the wood grain background. So I have this card. And I thought, perfect. I could pre-cut like all these pieces. And if I made a bunch of just different squares of color, you could choose your own backgrounds. I quite like these, I don't know, ice cream colors. <laughs> I have my own terms for everything. These are ice cream colors. Um, but the idea with the no stamping would be, and this is just something that was, surprise, surprise, on my desk. So the colors don't actually match, but I can put die cuts of words. I can't give you a kit with stamping in it, but I can put die cuts in it. So let's pretend that that actually was the right color. And I do have, oh, I've probably got 20 different things that I could probably die cut out. Um, some will be big, some will be small. This one happens to fit. So we could make a set of cards like this that said, happy birthday, thanks. Um, I've got some of the bigger die cuts are more for the holidays like Valentine's and stuff, but versions of the card. So it wouldn't necessarily be this exact card, but you get some die cuts, you get some pieces that are done. Here's some words. You don't have to stamp, we can still assemble. Um, so that went from being really colorful to ooh, black and white. <laughs> the person who's getting that card is probably not watching. Let me see, did I miss anybody's name? Nope. But I'm still, uh, I'm still, sorry, I just realized I was so paying attention to the cards, I wasn't paying the comments. Um, I'm still gonna be careful and not show you that card, but yes, that card is all black and white and I love it. So then I made this other card, which I know the person whose birthday is coming up is getting. So whoop, there you go. There was that card, which was awesome. Um, all of which could be adapted to no stamping. And then I made this card, <laughs> was the last one I made. And again, some, some uh, just you can prep some die cut pieces. And then instead of this being stamped here, this could be die cut words. 
uh, when we proposed doing this once before, the uh, the person at the other end did not have any stamps. And they said, that's fine. Just put some labels in. I'll handwrite the labels. That's kind of a cool effect too. Uh, other side note on this card, I do not use rhinestones nearly enough. Used to use them all the time. And now we have so many other options that I always forget. And, you know, there's something to be said for traditional rhinestones. So there's one idea was the no stamping, but making cards. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with a better system to not end up with just this massive pile of stuff all over my desk. Um, the other one, and probably, well, the easiest one probably for all around is just to do kit togethers. So going with the kits um, that Stampin' Up! already makes, which are awesome. And like I said, you're gonna watch me nerd out because I'm gonna open these both in a minute. But do you see that these are both sealed? This one came yesterday. This one came this afternoon and I have not opened them. And I can tell you that that is highly, highly unusual for me because when a kit comes, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I tear into it. I have to see what's inside it. I have to see all the bits and pieces. I get very excited about them. Um, so even this kit, which I've seen pictures of, I know what's in it. I still get very excited to open. This one, we usually only ever get sneak peeks. So you know, I should probably be smart and not put my address on there. Yeah. Um, we only ever get sneak peeks. We're starting to get more of them, but we still don't see everything. So this one, I don't actually know what's in. And this is the one that the box makes the adorable wheelbarrow. So, so looking forward to it. But I thought I would save this and open them live. Live. So we're going to do that in a minute. But these kits are much easier because they could be mailed direct to your house. Um, or we could do the porch pickup slash I'll meet you halfway to, to switch these. And then everything you need to prepare scissors is in these kits. So everything you want, and, and Stampin' Up's pretty good about putting extra bits and pieces in. Um, and if not, I usually buy the kits ahead of time when I can, so that I can look at them. And if I see the opportunity for, you know, if you just added two or three of these, look at the options, then I will add those in. So this is one of the other options is the kits. Um, and I'm hoping that when you see these, you'll realize they're pretty fun. Um, they take a lot of the stress out of it too, because you can just copy how the kit's meant to be. Uh, giving you an idea for what's coming up in the kit world. This is, this was from, Paper Pumpkin sometimes confuses me. Okay, so this was from my order. And I bet you there's one of them in this box as well. That's what screwed me up. I'm pretty sure it's inside this box, but I got one of these in my order box. So this is giving a sneak peek of the upcoming paper pumpkin. This is the September box. I already know that this is the October box, which contains, because I cheated, 10 Christmas cards, five each of two designs, full size with coordinating envelopes, and they coordinate with another sweet book, which I'll show you in a minute that you need to order by the 10th of October if you'd like to get in on that. So I already know this. And then just based on seven years or eight years of it, I think it's eight years now, of Paper Pumpkin, I'm gonna assume this is November's box. And because it looks like a present, I'm gonna say there's probably a pretty good chance there's tags in there or something that you could make into tags or adapt into cards. And usually the if there's a collector box like this, which they're starting to do a lot more collector boxes, it usually gives you a hint of the colors in the box too. So this. Oh, let me see, I'm cheating and looking at my things. There's a pool party, there we go. Oh, son, I forgot the name of the color. So this pool party, I don't know, maybe that's real red or poppy parade, white combination, I quite like. So this is upcoming in the paper pumpkin kit. And the one that is for next month, it says it coordinates with the Peaceful Place Suite. Now, I have mentioned before how much I love being a demonstrator. I absolutely love it. And one of the best parts is, other demonstrators. So this last Friday night, we had our Trailblazer team meeting and we made some cards. So, oops, I'm gonna put the envelopes down. So this was one of them. Um, these snowflakes have little stitching on them. And I thought I have enough snowflake dies. I don't need to buy more snowflake dies. But then when you see these dies, they are so incredibly beautiful that I was like, nope, need more snowflake dies. These are, these are amazing. And they are, they're just they're gorgeous. Um, this set, I'm actually going to pick up. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Um, because this set cuts and embosses and is super detailed and super pretty. 
And this card was actually, well, mostly because Tamara did all the cutting, but I mean, you kind of cut the back layer, cut and emboss this layer, cut out that one, pop the stamp, pop together. It's a gorgeous card, very few steps. And then this is the card we made, designed no less by Tamara, um, that is part of the Peaceful Place suite. And a lot of the cards I've seen are these like shades of gray, which I love, and cabins and serenity and whoop. There's all these cool dyes that go with it because this is one of the classes or one of the cards in the, in the buffet we were gonna do, which we still will. But there's just all these bits and pieces that you can make into it, plus all these uh, really nice stamps. So the paper that goes with this that has been clogging up my desk very effectively here is this paper. And it's all in different shades of gray and white and silver. And again, gorgeous. So this, again, so this set, it says the coordinating colors. Sorry, something. Oh, there we go. That's why my paper all of a sudden weighed a lot. That's <laughs> because there's something stuck to it. So this right here, look at that. I shouldn't maybe move so fast, is shaded spruce. And it is just a deep, beautiful green. So this color, real red, silver foil, and gray are the colors of this kit. So as the box is fairly green, but I do know there'll be some red, some silver, and some gray in it. And if it coordinates with this set, here's some of the different papers that come in it. And they are lots of like I said, gray and white and silver and trees. Look at this one, look at that one. The trees are sideways which I guess is an artistic statement. You can put them the right way. Right now, I'm just really trying not to knock the iPad off the holder. Um, look at this, trees, silver wood, gorgeous cabins, more trees, oh, it's gorgeous. So that's September's kit. <clears throat> so if you wanted to make those 10 Christmas cards, it would be as easy as and subscribing or letting me know before the 10th of October. We order the kit, uh, depending which way you do it, it can come straight to your house or come here for pickup. And when I hand it to you, you get a box full of goodies ready to go. Work's done for you. Um, so there's the other option. Now the final option, oh, I should have, I should have, uh, I should have done I should have done a better job darn it I don't have I don't have a card to show you while I described the last option um the other option is sorry I'm just gonna have to do a little repeat on these cards yeah let's use let's use this one because it's one of my faves so let's say we're making this card so the other option would be I pre-cut all the pieces that you need and I don't do the stamping though. And if there was any kind of background stamping or whatever, I wouldn't have that done, but I would have everything ready. I would have it set out in the driveway or just snuck into the garage enough that you're outside but the table's inside. And you got, you stop by, you make an appointment. I would set up some times and everybody could come. So we had like, you know, controlled or organized <laughs> chaos. You could come through, you could do the stamping in the garage, any of the stamping you need. So then you can pick your color, pick your sentiments, do the little stuff, the labels would be pre-cut, pick up all the rest of your supplies, take it with you. And then in any of the cases of when you're gonna put it together at home, you can either you know do it in peace and quiet or we'll do a Zoom. And I guess one of my other questions I had for you was, I like Zoom because you can talk back and forth. Um, and so it is a little more interactive, I like that. But I do also like the idea of doing a live, which I can now stream into Facebook now that I figured that out. So it would be like this. We could end up with a recording. Um, it wouldn't be necessarily interactive unless I can figure both those things out. But I can put it into a private group. So it wouldn't be like everybody could watch the conversation, but it could be done. Um, like it could be just maybe done as instructional. So I can go through and say, this is how we do this. This is how we do this. And then you can watch it at your leisure. So you don't have to, um, and you don't have to watch everybody's conversation back and forth. You can just watch how to do the project or I can do any combination of those things. So those are some of the options. Get the kits. I'll make up some kits that don't involve stamping. 
I'll make up some kits. Oh, did I go through? I don't think I did go through the product included. Product included class would be you order this bundle. So you get, I like to combine mine. You would get the package with the stamps and then, oh, that's just asking for disaster. If I tried to pull that little, you know, the trick where you pull the tablecloth out and the dishes stay on the table. That's kind of the scenario I got going here. But I think it might be a little dangerous. So you, you would get your dies in a separate pack. This is just how I put them mounted in my, with my, so I can use them together. So you would get the bundle. So you get the stamps, you get the dies, and you would get a package of the bits and pieces you need for the card. You get it all together, and we would just sit down and do the zoom together, and we'd go through and we'd say, okay, so in this case, you know, cut this first, cut this this way, and you would have all the stuff at home, and you would be doing it as we go. So there's the product included version of that as well. And then the bonus there is you still end up with the awesome bundle at the end. You make as many cards as you want. And I, will, I tend to put extras in. If I ever give, send you like here some stuff to work with, I tend to put extras in. So that allows for a bit of creativity or a bit of fixing if things don't go exactly the way you wanted them to. So yeah, those are some options for how we could do our classes. Uh, I think the unfortunate part is that um, it's weeks before these restrictions change. Weeks and weeks. Because we have to stop the spread and get the numbers down and get more people vaccinated and then keep it from spreading again. Uh, and I would think our politicians are gonna be a little reluctant to do the same thing twice. So I don't think they will jump to taking the restrictions off. So I think it's totally possible that all our Christmas crafting this year is done this way. So I really want a way to, to do this. I really want you guys to be able to get all the stuff you guys want to get. When we had some initial talks about this, we had plans for the tombstones, um, the, decorating those and doing some cards and some Christmas cards and uh, I, I, extravaganza. I'm holding out for extravaganza to happen and some treat making and all of those things while easier in person. Um, I'm, I'm committed to figuring out a way to do them online. Uh, I know last year, one of the options we had was, and, the, and this is, might be what happens for maybe like, for example, the tombstones. Anybody who bought the tombstones, I will give you the tombstones that you bought. I will give you, I keep saying tombstone, which sounds really morbid. Look at me, I'm going off screen and I'm about to stick my butt in the air. So, well, that'd be fun to find out if it made it into screen or not. Um, I'm talking about these cute little tombstones. Um, so I would put your tombstones in the kit. I would give you some scraps of paper, the, the inks you need, the sets you need, give you a little box. A week later, you bring it back. Feed them in between people. Then you have the time to make your little kits. And because we have a bit of time between now and Halloween, that's an option for these. Okay. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Just so you know, first ever, I think, to my knowledge, box opening live on TV. It's not really TV, but although I did name my I did name my uh, YouTube channel Paper Pusher TV. So when you watch this video on YouTube, yes, it will be on TV. So this. I should I should uh, clarify something. This is the September kit. So this is the kit that needed to be ordered by the 10th of September. And it usually ships on about the 12th of September, comes by FedEx, usually get it within a couple of days. So 16th works for me. Every now and again, they go on a trip and they get as far as somewhere and then they end up like usually somewhere in the States and then they end up spending some time in customs. Uh, sometimes it's you know a day or two, sometimes it's seven. But for the most part, they do come within two days. So this, this particular kit, you can't just go and order right now. I'm just going to show it to you just so you get an idea of what's in the kit. And you can see how excited it's killing me not to open this kit, not to open this box. This is how close I came and I just want to open this box. The whole idea is to, um, I don't know if you guys, if I've lost you guys all, but I'm actually every now and again, I'm looking over, paying attention to the comments. Uh, and there are no comments, like nothing new is coming in. So I'm I'm curious if everything's going the way it's supposed to. So if somebody could comment, that'd be awesome. Um, although if you do, I'll never know you did if it's not working. Okay, there's a flaw in that system. 
Okay, scroll moments over. So this kit, there is a chance when Paper Pumpkin comes out, there's a subscription deadline, there's a chance that there are extra kits left over. Sometimes it's the complete kit. Thank you very much, Mary, I appreciate that. Uh, sometimes it is the complete kit that is left and they have extras and then you can just order them. And that usually happens on the Monday after the 21st, I believe is the, the thing. So I doubt it would be this Monday, it's more than likely next Monday, but, <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Uh, things are going well, a little blurry. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how to fix the blurry. Nothing's blurry here. That's what I was checking for. Believe it or not, that was my check for the blurriness. Okay. I don't ever watch the recordings, but I might I might have to watch this one just to see if I can figure out a bit of the technology. Okay, so I will check on this Monday to see if any of these are left. Um, if not, I will check next Monday. I'm always checking to see if there's there's refills so that if anybody asks me about them, I, I have the answer. Uh, sometimes there is not the full kit available. Sometimes it's just the refill. So that's the consumable parts on the inside, which we're going to see very shortly because seriously, it's killing me. This box makes a wheelbarrow. Can't wait to see how that works. Um, so the, the consumables would just be all the paper stuff, not the stamp set, not the Xbox. All right, guys, here we go. They've also gotten, <laughs> see now I'm toying with you as much as I'm toying with myself. They've also started doing a lot more of these collector boxes. They used to just be the red ones. So you get all excited when you saw the red box. But this may be the first time that I remember where they got this fancy with the box and actually put like lines in it where you actually go in here, cut this bad boy out and make an adorable little wheelbarrow. They've had other boxes before that people have turned into like haunted houses or Christmas houses, but that's just people getting creative with the box. Um, this one actually has lines in it and such to cut out. Ooh, stamp set's got leaves in it. Um, let's see. I don't know what makes this. Uh, let's try white. <laughs> Better. I think. Um, you never know. You know there's a stamp set in every one of them, but you never know what the stamps are going to say. So reading this half upside down. Oh, see, I love that. Um, this one says thank you. This one says, hey there, pumpkin. Love that. Um, I actually know three people born on Halloween. So, and one of which I like to call Pumpkin Boy. So, hey there, Pumpkin is going on his card. Um, okay, sorry, I can't read that upside down. Uh, I pick you every time. Oh, I like that. You're a blessing. Happy Halloween. So there's all those sentiments, <clears throat> plus these, these leaves. And these leaves are like stamp this in one color or stamp it full color and then stamp off. So, you, so that's not the pair that go together. So you can have like two step stamping on these leaves. So that's cool. That's a very nice stamp set. And that's that's sentiments I can see using again. Oh, the ink spots that come with these. Soft succulent is such a pretty color. This is one of the new in colors, um, which means it came out in the May catalog and will be around for two years and then gone. Oh, it's such a pretty color. So we have soft succulent. Uh, I, <laughs> I know this is probably sacrilege, but I never do anything with the tissue paper. It's one of the first things I do is take it out of the box because it gets in my way and right now it's probably super loud. Uh, Cause it gets in my way and I crumple the ball and throw it in the recycle bin. <laughs> but see, more measurements. But I have seen so many other demos and I'm just gonna start throwing some of the pile on the floor. I have seen so many other demos who do such creative things with the tissue paper. And I always feel bad that I throw mine out, but yeah, into the recycle it goes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so all of the consumables. So if you ordered a refill kit, this is what you would get. Sometimes it comes in the box and sometimes it comes just like this. Uh, I, I don't know, I would expect with this one, maybe you get this box just so you can have the, the wheelbarrow. Um, I have ordered them on occasion, like years ago. So maybe that's what's changed. And what you basically got was just this, like just the cellophane package. Um, but part of this is it keeps all the bits and pieces together, keeps them from getting bent, keeps them from getting wet. Now that the boxes are cellophane, wet isn't such a, a big deal. Uh, that was quite the controversy when they, uh, when they decided to do that. Cause yes, it's not as environmental as just a cardboard box, but Demonstrators and, and paper pumpkin fans like to post pictures of their boxes and the condition that the mailman, UPS, FedEx, whoever it is that delivers, the condition some of the boxes show up in, they're just 
you know, demolished. So it is a good thing that the stuff that can't get wet is nicely packaged inside. So, oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so these are the treat holders and these are the very colorful, which, yep, never read them, but these are the very colorful um, and very descriptive instructions that come with them. So this is why it's a really easy kit to do at home if you want just to, you know, find a corner, sit in peace and quiet and do it. Um, it's because everything's right in there. And now I see where the turkey came from. So on the back of this kit, Stampin' Up! is very good about, and the demonstrators, about alternatives. So you can make the kit exactly as it's shown or you can do your own thing. And I was wondering where these guys were. I had seen this picture of this turkey before but you could take one of the boxes and turn it into turkey. If you have extra supplies at home, the uh, options are unlimited. And then you see this little, I forgot what it's called all of a sudden, QR code. Um, you can also just go to the website, but Stampin' Up! puts a video out each month. They wait till the delivery times on this thing are crazy in North America. It's only available in North America, but the delivery times are crazy where how quickly some people get it and how long it takes other people to get it. They all ship out of Utah and somebody a few hours from Utah might wait seven to 10 days for their kit. Whereas send it to Northern Canada and yeah, it's here too. Um, so they try to wait till most people have a chance to have received their kit, but then they put out a little like two minute video that just sort of quickly shows how people assemble stuff. So for those who visually want to see how they go together, there's that. So very nice set of instructions. <laughs> should you choose to use them. And then, oh, so these little twisty tie things are gonna be what makes the, the runners. And then all the tags are cut out. Look at these, these are awesome. They're nice big tags too. And from the looks of it, any one of these sentiments, yep, any one of these sentiments is gonna fit on these tags. We are looking at eight, 12, what did I say, 8, 12, 15. So there's 15 tags. Let me just see what it says on here, 12. Yep, so there's 12 treat boxes and 15 tags. So look at that, three spares or three, oops. Oh, I love these. Okay, so here's your other options. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I really try to tap it down. If I was home by myself, I'd be like, woo But, you know, I want you guys to maybe tune in again. <laughs> so let's, let's not be too too weird. My sister rolls her eyes at me all the time and says, you are such a nerd. Um, but that's okay. Okay, I got them stuck together. Okay, so these ones are reversible. So you can choose the green side and make it a little more fallish. This one I would say is a little more aptly. Look at the shiny black stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to get all of them at once. There's the, oh, this one has little leaves on it. Or the marbly watercolor look. See how pretty these greens are? Oh, so nice. And then this one to me is more pumpkin y. This looks like pumpkin pumpkin. And I got glue dots stuck to it. Ooh, I like that one. So lots of options. <laughs> if we have time later, Nicole, we'll see if we can figure out how they go together. Or Nicole, if you're still there, tell me, did you figure out how they go together? I was thinking they would just. Like, two, like one on to, and then the next one on. But I was trying to figure out how, the, how they would hook together. So I'm curious to know if you've, if you've mastered that. Okay, so those are the, those are the little cute apple treats. Um, what, believe it or not, one of the fun things about this is you get these little teeny tiny blue dots in it. So the regular blue dots come on a roll and they, you can't, you can't see them. I don't think I'll ever be able to get as good as this whole focus thing is to show you enough to compare them, but these glue dots are smaller. And sometimes these glue dots are just a little too big. So depending on what I'm doing, I tend to save these. And when you get the teeny tiny ones, I save these to use later. Or I save them so that if we're doing at-home kits, instead of giving you an entire roll of glue dots, because I don't ever have you know plenty of rolls of glue dots at once, I can give you little sheets of glue dots and then you have something to use for other crafting things. But I love how, how tiny these are. Okay, Oh. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so this, I was thinking, what is this? I don't see this in the picture. This is to make the wheelbarrow <laughs> because there's wheels here. 
and there's these little edges. And I, I think I posted a picture of it before, but I'm not exactly sure where I say that picture, but this is how you cover all the edges of your rough cut, of your rough cut timber or your cardboard box as it were. Oh, very exciting, okay. And then faces, can you see those are faces? Faces, if you wanna turn them into pumpkins. Um, if you decide you're not gonna turn them into pumpkins with all these little stickers, just think of the fun you can have with these stickers. <laughs> Putting pumpkin faces on, you know, condiments in the fridge, other people's water bottles, people's coffee cups, or even just, you know, cards. But I can totally see making pumpkin faces all over the place and surprising people, because that's how I roll. And then what are these? These are leaves. Again, this, they, they design it so you can use this one stamp spot to make everything work. So these are the soft succulent color. But if you have more stamp sets, you can, uh, you can mix them in and add them. So I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Some different leaf shapes that you can put on. So I would think pumpkin, and apple, and <laughs> I don't think you can do it there. I think they're all, I think that's what they all are. Oh, they're, this is really a pretty paper, like a nice little powdery color. Very nice. And then because this is tree containers and there's obviously something special to it, if I was to actually take the time to look and see how they went together, um, they've added these little sticky strips. So this is gonna be something to do with putting them together, either the wagon or the pumpkin or the little like treats. But obviously there's two different sizes and your instructions will tell you where to use them. So these are extra little adhesives to make your, make your project easier. So very excited. Uh, these are gonna be just so adorable. I cannot wait to put these together. Um, I was gonna use them as our table place settings. I like to make table place settings for family dinners, but now they might be delivered to people's front porches. But nonetheless, I, am, I bought two of these kits, so I would have enough for everybody in the family. Oh yeah, they're so, they're so cute. So you could get creative if you don't wanna make treat holders. You could get creative and use all these bits and pieces to make little turkeys on cards. Like you could take the pieces and just make a flat version of this, or as these guys have done, do this. Uh, the stamp set is gonna be awesome, and it's a beautiful color. So that's what a paper pumpkin looks like. Very exciting. Um, and then, because that one's not actually available right now, yeah, although it may be, but keep it in mind, if you just have to have one, uh, keep it in mind, because I will keep checking on the Mondays. I actually check on Sunday nights. Um, I tend to not go to bed super early anyways. And if it's if I'm up close enough to midnight, I wait till midnight and look and see if the site is updated. But if not, I check first thing Monday morning, a little reminder, so that uh, I can tell you if there is refills or not. So if you're interested in a refill, let me know ahead of time. Okay, there is actually a garbage can behind me. So the garbage is going in the garbage. It's just the other stuff going on the floor for me to pick up later. Okay, so I did mention this and I showed you some pictures before, but I'm just so excited to see it in person. This is the Christmas kit. <gasps> oh, sorry, dude. Okay, I love Navy. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I come from a Navy family. My parents met in Halifax when they were both in the Navy. Hmm, not sure why that's not focusing. Did I go too fast? Not sure. Anyways, it's Navy. Uh, love this color. I got very excited about these embellishments. Um, yes, this, this kit always looks so much better. I actually, when I first saw this kit, I'm like, hmm. And then I read this sentiment, and this is what I want to put on the inside of every Christmas card I send this year. Wishing you peace, joy, and love now and throughout the coming year. Sold me on it right there. Love that sentiment. This one says season's greetings. This one says Merriest Christmas to you. We got some snowflakes and we got some stars. So making other Christmas cards, that's gonna be awesome. Put that one back. So this is, these are based on the same theory of paper pumpkin. So you'll notice they're very similar, but the difference with these is you can go on the website and I'm gonna post a link afterwards when I post the video, I'll post a link to my online store. And basically with this kit collection, if you see it online, it's in stock. If it goes out of stock, you just won't see it online anymore. So they don't show up in the catalogs, they just show up online. Um, this is the one I expected would sell out. And I still think it might <laughs> um, once people start getting going. Um, October 1st is a bit of a 
important day in the Stampin' Up! demonstrators world because that's the start of a new year. And I do know a lot of people, if they're managing their business, trying to do certain things with it, they are waiting for October 1st to put in big orders and to get all of their Christmas stuff so it falls into the that year as opposed to the previous year. So I am always worried that anything that looks like it's in stock, some stuff has already like been on back order from since May or since, I guess what could be pre-ordered June. Um, but I do think October 1st is always the date where I'm like, ooh, if there's anything I absolutely have to have, I'm making sure I order it before the 1st of October. Now, in this case, you also want to order before the 1st of October because up until next Thursday, I'm going to look at my calendar. I'm not staring off in space. Uh, 30th, yes, next Thursday, um, the celebration is still going. So for every $60 you spend, you get to pick something from the celebration catalog for free. So yeah, you want to you wanna stock up on what you can before October 1st, before it all goes out, and at the same time, get some free stuff. So this is the card kit, and there is another one coming that we've seen like just a hint of that is some really good size tags um, that look very cute, but we don't have a release date on that one yet. So this one is still available, and this one makes eight cards. Yep, eight cards and envelopes, and they're very cute little elf people. So I do like my embellishments. <laughs> Uh, I'm not usually a fan of gold, but these cards have enough navy on them that, you know, I can overlook the gold. So check out these cute embellishments. And they're just kind of a, um, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the proper word, uh, but I want to say oil slick. <laughs> they're the oil slick. So, you know, when you turn them, what is the word? Somebody help me out. Watch Marcy Denny. She mastered it. Oh, Donna, is that she mastered the pumpkins? That's good to know. Um, Incandescent, that's not the right word. Iridescent, maybe that's the word. Anyways, ooh, glimmering blue, like those. Uh, dimensionals, I'm trying to make it so you can see what those are. So dimensionals that you need. These kits, um, because this might be the first kit you order and you might not have anything else, and they're kind of intended to be uh, starter kits too, of, or like introduction into stamping kits, they all come with a block. <laughs> Why is it that no matter which background I pick, it seems to be the wrong one. So these are little Stampin' Up blocks. They're not as thick as the other ones, but they are perfect for all of the stamps in that stamp set are gonna fit on this block. They design them that way. And this is the same one that you get if you subscribe to Favorite Pumpkin, your very first box will come with a, a block in it. So you have the, the stamp set, the block, the ink, the adhesives. This one comes with a little gold twine. The envelopes, I do notice in the in the kits, like when you buy just the regular envelopes, the, the plain white envelopes, which I like to stamp on. But I notice in the kits, they always get a little bit fancier with the envelopes. Uh, lots of times there's envelope liners. I've also seen lots of people get very creative and use the envelopes as sources of paper because they do such nice things with them. In this case, so they just have this pretty gold edging on them. And then I said there was eight, right? So there's two times four. So these are the card bases, which are pre-scored for you. Look at this, doesn't this just look, I, I love fall, but I also love winter. So I'm so looking forward to this. Nice snowy scene, cool weather. So these come pre-scored, pre-cut, pre-backgrounded usually, or some kind of, so you're not starting with just black, white card, blank, white card stuff. So look at that pretty background. And then this one is, oops. I'm losing my motor skills. How long have I been rambling? Oh, I've been rambling longer than normal tonight. Um, and then this one is the tree one. A little bit uh, Grinch-esque to me or Whoville-like, so I like that. These cards are a little fancier too. They also have the gold foil on them. And you get, what is there? There's six of each one of these. So that gives you two extra tags for each set of cards. And if you do really well, you get a gold star. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. I'm assuming that goes on the top of the tree. There's a whole sheet of them, though. So you can sprinkle them about your cards. Um, and then, oh my goodness, look at these adorable people. I like that they're very whimsical and, well, maybe I could just relate to them because they're big bottomed. But, um, but look at how cute these guys are. So, yes, here's the ladder with the little elf on it that's reaching up to put the, the star on the tree. And then there's the sled full of presents. A couple extra people. What do we got here? Two, four. 
So this one there appears to be the exact number of these, but these are die cut for you already. So instead of having to stamp and punch or stamp and cut or stamp and fussy cut, try not to wreck them. They're all ready for you. Pop some dimensionals in there onto the card, stamp your sentiment, put a little bow, tie it on, throw some cute little bling on it, and you're good to go, 10 cards. So these ones you can order, that whatever's on the website is what's available. You can order them, have them delivered straight to your house, or you can let me know you wanna do them, and I will put them in my next order. I'll be putting an order in within the next, probably three to four days. Um, because I was having one of those days because I've been mass producing cards lately uh, where I went to grab dimensionals and picked out the last pack of dimensionals out of my little storage box. Now that is, I can't run out of dimensionals. That would be unheard of. Uh, I almost ran out of envelopes, but a month ago I realized that I had used up all my envelopes. So I had to order those. So while I can get the free stuff from Celebration, um, I'm going to stockpile some of the adhesives and things I need. So I will be putting an order in. And uh, so if anybody's interested in any of these or you're interested in the other kits, let me know. Uh, if you have some, I'll put this down so you have some kits to look at, as opposed to the plain box or my pudgy little hands. Um, so yeah, I was gonna really quickly flip and have it all be me. <laughs> Scared the heck out of you. But I can't actually remember how, so you're lucky there. Um, yeah, so let me know some thoughts on what you guys want to be doing. Um, anything you need in the next few days. And then I'm going to revise my schedules that I have posted and I'll send out some emails and some stuff, giving people a better idea of what's going on. I do know for sure that I'm going to figure something out by the 2nd of October because that is World Card Making Day. And I was so looking forward to what we had planned and I'm going to make something work um, for that. And then towards the end of October, I had planned to do some Christmas cards. Uh, November was going to be the extravaganza, which we might still figure out a way to do. Uh, that is some cards, some treat holders, some tags, some decorations. So that one's a little more involved. Um, I can't tell you though. I'm going to ramble on. I was kind of wondering if I was ever going to do more than like, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, if I could ever get this to be like an hour long thing. <laughs> Look how easy I did that. So these are the little cloche uh, shaker domes. And during the extravaganza, we are going to use these adorable little things, which you can put on a card like this. There's little dies that cut them out. Uh, but we're gonna use them like this with some greenery and some snow. And I haven't quite decided what's going inside. I might have some options for people can do them. We're gonna make tree ornaments, three dimensional tree ornaments that would have little shakers in them. Are they not adorable? So to try to do stuff like this, it's a little trickier online, but I'm going to figure something out. So I'm hoping we can still make that work. And then December was going to be another card class and some treat holders. So let me know what, what your thoughts are, what you're up for. Uh, the driveway stamping is only going to work for so long because then it's going to get a little bit cold, but I'm, I'm game for mitten stamping. Anybody wants to try mitten stamping, you let me know because I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, so yeah. Look at all the things I got going here. I'm gonna tease. I'm gonna show just a corner of these other cards that I made that nobody can see. They're just awesome. So we have some tombstones and some of this. Okay, I threw the other stuff too far away to reach. But yes, questions on any of this stuff, ideas for some get togethers, uh, whatever you need. If you need anything right away, let me know because I will figure out how to make it work. And yeah, we'll just watch and see what, what happens. Everybody do your part so we can all stamp together soon. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in and for sticking around this long and actually listening to me ramble on for almost an hour. I so appreciate it. I could talk about stamping forever though. We could start now and I could go till midnight. I could pull stuff off my desk. And I could, who knows what we could be doing? So yes, you wanna talk stamping, let me know. You need anything, let me know. And uh, I will be back on Monday. Actually, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I might do it live. I do have some errands to run tomorrow. I might do it live. I might just post some pictures of the, the sketch challenge that I posted on Monday. So anybody wants to post their card, I'm still working, Danelle, I'm trying to figure out why you couldn't, but we'll see if somebody else can try, I'm trying to get someone else to try. Um, and if not, I will post your pictures for you. But So I will have the original card, my versions of, a couple of versions I made of the sketch, and we'll draw a winner for the sketch challenge. 
And then, yeah, Make It Monday. I'll see you back here live for sure for Make It Monday, uh, three o'clock on Monday to see what we're going to case copy or otherwise come up with. So thanks everybody for hanging in there. You made my night by showing up and uh, happy stamping. Thanks very much, everybody. Good night.